Hi there, it's Carrie from Stamp With CT. Happy Wednesday, good morning. I'm a little rusty, you guys. You know, I missed last week because of the Thanksgiving holiday and having my kids here with us. Um, and so I had a little trouble getting my phone situated for the video, but hey, we're here. Sure did miss you guys last week. It feels so weird that we um, missed a week. We've done so good for, <clears throat> gosh, I think March will be two years that we've been doing these weekly Facebook Lives. So much fun to spend a little bit of time together. So I hope that a few of you will be able to hop on live with me. If not, just watch the replay and type in replay so I know you stopped by. If you're watching on YouTube, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified when I upload videos. Good morning. See some friends hopping on now. Glad you're here. Sure did miss everybody last week, but I hope you had a wonderful holiday. We were just so blessed to have our daughter Tara and our son-in-law James here from Houston for a couple days and then we also had our son was home. He travels for work. Our son Shane and his wife Holly and our two bonus grandsons Ethan and Caleb. So they're grown now. Ethan is 18 and Caleb's 21 and it's just really hard to get everybody together with work schedules and all. So I was a happy mama Thanksgiving Day. Good morning. So I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday. Can you believe that it's December the 1st? Wow. I don't know where this year has gone, but this is one of my favorite times of year. I just love all the decorations, the Christmas lights, being together with people as we can. I know it's still hard with this craziness in our world, but we just do the best we can, right? So let's jump into doing some crafting. I know that's what we're here for, Craft and Connect. So we're going to start by giving away the package of clear envelopes. So that was our giveaway two weeks ago. And um, my friend Judy Cleveland from Arkansas, you are the winner of these clear envelopes. And I have some other prizes from Bingo that need to go out to you. So we'll just tuck that into your package for that. So congratulations, Judy. I know that you love using these clear envelopes and you know there's lots of different ways to use them. So enjoy. And this week we're going to do, um, we're going to kind of keep in that same vein and I'm going to do a package of our basic white envelopes as the prize for this week. So the way that you're entered for a chance to win is just simply leave a comment. Um, react to the video with a thumbs up or a heart or share the video if you know someone that might enjoy this um, video um, and some crafting. I will tell you that I can't see the comments while I'm um, creating, but I do go back and I read all of them and respond to comments that are left and I do appreciate you guys doing that. I do the giveaway because you know, algorithms for social media can really be tricky. And so you're really helping me when you comment and engage with me. It lets um, Facebook and YouTube know that someone else may wanna see the content. So you're helping me with my business and helping it grow, reach new people. So I love doing this little giveaway every week. So be sure to leave a comment and get entered for a chance to win. And congratulations again, Judy. Okay, I've got lots to talk about. There's so much going on, but I think I'm going to go ahead and we're going to make our projects and then we'll go into some of that other exciting news. So I want to talk to you just a little bit about, um, I do something, you know, I do my monthly stamp class and then I also do something called Stamp a Stack or Stamp Camp. And so those are usually longer events. We make a lot of projects, 16 to 20 projects. In that day so we have a Christmas stamp camp I think it was a stamp a stack they're very similar we had a stamp a stack back in October and I just thought I would share some of the projects that we made with you because we're actually going to reproduce one 
today with some different products. So this is just one of the cards that we made in that stamp -a stack and we had five different designs featuring the Heartwarming Hugs and Holly Jolly Wishes stamp set. So a lot of times with Stamp Class, we use a suite of products. With stamp -a stack and Stamp Camp, I pull in more um, embellishments. We kind of step outside of the suite. We may use a paper and then a standalone stamp set that doesn't belong in a suite that's in the catalog. And we'll use multiple um, embellishments, ribbons. It's just a lot of fun. We stretch our creativity a little more. There's always a PDF tutorial with those events. And so you learn new things, but you also are able to reference that and recreate. So this was one of the projects. We made four of each design. And then here is a second one. And again, four of these. So back in October, they were already making lots of Christmas cards and getting a jump start on their crafting. So then four of these. And then we kind of, um, this one is the next layout, but a lot of times with these classes or events, there's also product included. So we call it a product-based class. So they got a full package of um, the designer series paper. So they were actually able to choose what they wanted to use for this. And I wanna say we called this, um, oh, I can't remember, over under pocket card. So basically you're using an eight and a half by 11 piece of designer series paper and the way you cut and score it and fold it creates this double pocket. And then we did this card and used up some of the scraps that we had from our other creations to make little tags for them. So everybody's projects looked a little bit different because we were using up supplies and they were able to choose. So just thought I'd show you those. And we made this tag big enough that you could actually adhere a gift card to it if you wanted to. So they made four of these pocket cards. And then we also made four gift card holders. So this is one that features designer series paper. So if you have a lot of Christmas or holiday designer series paper, great use for that. So this is just simply on a base that is five and a half by four and a quarter. And then for these, I ran this uh, mat through an embossing folder to give it a little bit more texture and then just added that designer series paper. They turned out so cute. And I like to give options. So we have this one that's a vertical, very same layout, but it's vertical. And in the class, I realized, I think Cassandra pointed out to me that it opens backwards from what you normally would think of, but oh well, that's okay, right? When they get that gift card, they're not gonna even worry about that. So it can be done either way. So let's move these out of the way and we'll get started on making a couple of these cards. So I have pulled out my wonderful, perfectly plaid stamp set. You guys have seen this so many times over the last couple years. I would anticipate that with um, the retirement of the annual catalog, this stamp set may go away because it's been around for quite some time, but I love it. I grab it all the time. This beautiful Merry Christmas sentiment. Here comes the train, of course. Is one of the ones we're using today. And then I went ahead and got the Sweet Stockings Designer Series Paper. And that's the first card we're going to make. So I've got a couple of different patterns. We're just going to layer this piece on that five and a half by four and a quarter base. So of course this next piece is five and a quarter by four inches. And then your designer series paper for the actual gift card part is four and a half wide by nine and a half long. And then you're gonna score at three and a quarter from either end. Now what I do after that, because you're coming in at three and a quarter from either end, it closes just a little bit better if you come in on your paper trimmer and cut maybe an eighth of an inch off, um, just a very tiny sliver off so that it folds up better. So this is what we're going to, and I realized I didn't grab any tear and tape and I may have to get up and get some. One second. I 
realized the other day I didn't have any on my desk and I did not grab any. So to make our gift card holder, we just need to add a little bit of tear and tape across the very sides of this piece. Now you probably can see that I've already, oops, I put that on the wrong side, didn't I? Sure did. Ooh, let's, what are the chances that I can get that off? Probably not good. Uh-oh. Well, I told you guys I was a little bit rusty with my videos. I may have to rethink how I'm gonna do this one, but we're gonna make it work, right? Because that's what we do, we're creative. Sometimes we create solutions or I do anyway, because, you know, I just mess up sometimes. I'm not gonna worry about it, not let it stress me though. So I'm just going to put this tear and tape on the right part. Y'all ever do that? Just totally mess up? I'm sure you don't, because y'all are awesome. And we'll put it on either side, and I probably don't even need that much tear and tape. It's such a strong adhesive. I'm just going to the edge, and that's going to fold up to make the gift card. So what I was gonna say is I just took a circle die. If you have some circle punches, you know, Stampin' Up! retired our circle punches last year, but I still have some. If you have some circle punches, you can notch that out. Get creative though with your punches especially, because I know the ice cream punch we've used, the, um, postage stamp punch we've used, just to punch that little notch out. It just makes it easier to pull the gift card out. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead with our plan here. And I think I may move this over to cover up most of that tear and tape. So this is just a piece of basic white card stock that I'm going to add uh, my message on the inside with. Find the right side of that. And we'll just adhere this right over that tear and tape and I don't think most people are even gonna know. And I know y'all won't tell on me. Probably give this to um, one of the kids. They won't care. I just really don't think I can get that tear and tape off. Okay, so we've got the gift card holder done and we're going to add this piece of designer series paper and we're making three of these little gift card holders today they don't take long at all especially once you have everything cut i just love this paper and i'll tell you something about it here in just a little bit i may go ahead and add tear and tape to adhere this down too because you now this is kind of interactive people pulling the gift card in and out and you just want to make sure that you're using a nice strong adhesive when that's the case use your liquid glue we'll just adhere that down I know what I need to grab is my take your pick tool because if you just really burnish that down, ooh, that paper piercer of your take your pick tool can be a real help to get that backing off. Release paper. Okay, so now we're just going to add this to the front of our card. Try to get that centered up. With this pattern, it ought to be pretty easy for me, but y'all know me. Okay. Now, I went ahead and just punched a little piece of the designer series paper that has the super cute little critters in the stockings with a slightly larger scalloped circle. And we're just going to layer that together. That just really helps that sentiment um, that we're gonna add in this little piece of designer series paper to stand out more to have that 
cherry cobbler is what I used for the scallop. Show off a couple of those cute little critters in the stockings. This paper is just adorable. And then I stamped the Ho Ho Ho, and I think we'll pop it up. And I probably could have grabbed some rhinestones or some type of embellishment to use on this, and I sure didn't do it, but I may add that later. I just mainly want you to see how easy these little gift card holders are. And of course, you could also tuck some cash in there as well. I just like to make my gift cards a little bit more special. I'm gonna come right across here with that sentiment. So there is our first gift card holder. Crisis averted, right? Okay, let's bring in some of the beautiful Peaceful Place designer series paper and make another gift card holder. So this time I chose this kind of snowy background. It's just so beautiful. And this piece of designer series paper is beautiful with the trees and I don't think that it really needs anything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my tear and tape on the right part. And again, I've already done the little notch. Put some tear and tape towards the edge so I know that I have plenty of room for my gift card. Let's put a little piece on this side. Use that take your pick tool to get that paper off. So I watched a video my friend Judy Cleveland did the other day and she actually showed using the putty end to pick up your um, embellishments like your rhinestones and jewels once you have loosened them from the paper. So that's something I need to practice and try. I love getting tips from other demonstrators that I can pass on to you. So we're just going to fold that down. And again, the very same measurements, four and a half by nine and a half, scored at three and a quarter from either end. So look how pretty that is, just the paper itself. So we'll put, of course, a piece of basic white so that we can write our message. You could certainly stamp on this part too if you wanted to. I'm keeping it simple with this card because this paper is just so lovely. And so this one will be a vertical. Whoops. This uh, plaid, gray and white plaid on the back is really cute too. I think you could even make some masculine gift card holders with this paper. Get everything lined up. Oliver was in here with me a few minutes ago. He um, has left the room though, so that always makes me just a little bit suspicious. It's almost like he knows when we are on video. Just making sure I've got this right. Let's put a little bit of tear and tape on here so we can add this. So look how easy, y'all. We are cranking out some gift card holders. Oops. Put that off. Come on, there we go. And we'll just add this to the front here. Try not to get my head in the camera, sorry if I did. Okay, that one is super simple, but very pretty. And let's make one more. And again, we will use the Peaceful Place. And we're gonna use that same snowy background, so let's go ahead and adhere that down. So pretty. That 
lined up. So we've talked recently about mass producing, so this would be a super simple one to do in mass producing as well. Just do all of your cutting and then all your stamping and then all of your assembling. Okay, let's put some tear and tape on this piece. Gosh, that's hard to do on this beautiful paper. It has this foiling. It's so lovely. I thought I did it again, y'all. But I'm doing it right. Okay. Create our little pocket for our gift card. And you know, I have a little Sonic gift card that has been used up that I always keep on my desk. So when you're designing projects, that's nice to have so that you know you're getting measurements where they need to be. We'll just close that up, make that little pocket. Put our piece of basic white on. So they do get to see a little bit of the two sides of the paper, but you're mainly featuring just one side. Okay, and we're going to come right across there with that. So a little bit more tear and tape. Are y'all done with your Christmas cards? I'm still working on mine. And I don't know if I mentioned to you, but um, our team of Super Inspired Stampers, we are doing... Hello, Oliver. Get down, please. We are doing a service project for our local Salvation Army here in Corsicana. And it's been only a couple of weeks since I asked everyone if they would like to help with this. But um, we are actually providing 245 Christmas cards to our local Salvation Army to be included with the packages of food and gifts for people that need that help at the at Christmas. So I just want to give my team a shout out because um, they're not even due until the 9th of December. And we have already got all of those cards pledged. People are dropping them off and mailing them to me. But isn't that wonderful um, to use our hobby and our craft to be able to give back. So I hope that that um, just brightens some families' holidays to know that they were being thought of in that way. Okay, let's stamp our Merry Christmas. Let me pull in a piercing mat because this is a photopolymer stamp and it is stained and well-loved. It's like we talked about, y'all have seen me use this greeting definitely so many times and I love it so much. It's a beautiful font. So just Merry Christmas with basic gray. So pretty. And I think that what we're going to do, I haven't brought in any kind of embellishments at all and I did grab a couple of things. I've got the, the glitter ribbon, the white glitter ribbon that goes with the sweet. I also grabbed the black glitter ribbon. So I'm just trying to decide. I really think I'm going to put just a little bit of white kind of swooshed underneath there. Let's grab some Stampin' Seal Plus, put a little line of it, and that way I can just run that ribbon back and forth behind my sentiment piece. And we'll snip that off. We'll just bring a little bit more shimmer. And grab a couple of dimensionals. And we'll add the sentiment and we will be done. But don't leave me yet because I've got some stuff to tell you guys about. Super exciting. I always tell my team it's such an exciting time to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and it's an exciting time to be a Stampin' Up! customer as well. We got some awesome things going on. Okay. Let's just pop that sentiment on right there over that ribbon peeking out. 
Oh, that is really pretty, you guys. Okay, so there is our third gift card holder. So two made with Peaceful Place and one made with the Sweet Stockings. If you have a favorite, let me know which one it is. I love all of them. Y'all know me. Okay, let's talk a little bit about what awesome things are going on. As you may have already seen, if you're on my email list, I emailed it out, I've posted on my page, but this awesome July to December mini catalog from Stampin' Up, it is retiring. And they have announced the retirement list. Some of the items are on sale up to 50% off. So you'll see this graphic, the last chance list. I posted this, um, I think Monday, um, I have this like in a photo form. If you need to see just the things that are actually on sale, I think it may have even chopped it off a little bit when I printed it. But if you need that, let me know. I'll be glad to send that to you. But I did post it on my Facebook page. And then some things will be carrying over um, into next year's holiday catalog and some things just into the January time frame. Now there's also an update on our clearance rack. So I went over there and checked that out this morning. There's some designer series paper for less than $5, you guys. Beautiful paper. Um, there's lots of uh, embellishments. There's all kinds of stuff. So be sure to run over and check out the clearance rack and the last chance list on my um on my website, on my online store. So just go to stampwithct.stampinup.net. I'll put a link in the description above. So if you need to, um, you know, grab some good deals, just want you to be able to go check that out. So why is Stampin' Up! doing all of this? Well, it's because of something I received in the mail yesterday. This beautiful new January to June mini catalog that will start January the 4th of 2022. I can't believe we're saying 2022. But this new catalog, now I cannot show you the inside yet. Only demonstrators can see the inside. And we are actually starting today able to pre-order from this catalog. So we are able to purchase these this merchandise um, before customers for about a month and we can also pre-earn from celebration. So we will have another celebration coming in January and February. So it's always a great time to join Stampin' Up! to join our team. So if it's something that you'd like to do, let me know. I'll be glad to give you some more information. But you could also be pre-ordering from these catalogs. Okay, I think that that is it. I did tell you that the clearance rack was refreshed. Some awesome, awesome items there. Don't miss out on that. I will see you back again next week, and I'm kind of thinking that with the holidays coming up, we may do some packaging options next week. My mind is always uh, spinning with fun things to show you guys to try to help inspire you. I appreciate you so much. Um, I thank you for spending a few minutes with me, and I will see you again next week. Bye.